Mr. Roark, question for you. Can, can you name something that you've done on this commission to help reduce taxpayer expense instead of just spend more on programs? For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Are you on the Liquor Commission? Uh, I'm on the Governor's Commission. Is that what you mean? Oh, okay. I have you mistaken with whoever was sitting there for the Liquor Commission. He's probably already gone. Oh, okay. I do have a question related to the, this commission, though. Uh, have you ever used an illegal substance? Uh, I uh, wouldn't uh, be willing to talk about that on camera, but thanks for asking. Is there anyone on this commission who advocates the not putting people in jail for doing that? Um, I'm not sure. You would have to... Uh, talk to people individually to get their views on that, so I couldn't speak for anybody else. You've never heard anyone advocate that viewpoint on the commission? Uh, I have not. Can it be a balanced commission if it doesn't have the solution that actually worked in Portugal represented? Well, uh, I don't really, I can't speak to that. I'm not familiar with it, but thank you. Okay. What's your name? I'm Joe Harding. All right, Mr. Harding. Thanks for your time. Sure. Okay, here, please. You'll stop. Speak to the different regional plans. But I said that you need to show sort of tight parameters and Mr. Roark, question for you. Can, can you name something that you've done on this commission to help reduce taxpayer expense instead of just spend more on programs? Sure, every dollar invested in prevention saves $12 in tax revenue um, as from reducing uh, use substance abuse. Every dollar spent on treatment saves seven. It's still, so it's, it's one of the. It, it sounds like a good deal, but it's still direct spending. Is there anything you've done to help cut spending? Well, I directly. Think, well, to the extent that we have um, included access to lower levels of care to then reduce demand on higher levels of care. I mean, as we think about residential services for those that are deeply impacted by substance abuse, so this is a disease that falls in a spectrum. So part of our efforts around recovery supports is to alt and increased access through insurance reimbursement is to be able to reduce the uh, public expenditures on folks at the deeper end of addiction who could have been treated and at an earlier level of their disorder. Um, I would also say that our expanded substance abuse benefit has saved in terms of uncompensated care and other uh, drivers that sort of really uh, burden down to taxpayers and insurance payers. You know, every time somebody's got a copay out of their pocket for an insurance, um, very often some of that cost has been because of uncompensated care around substance use. So expanding those benefits arrays is able to make insurance and hopefully the other baselines much cheaper. All right, always transparent. Thanks for the answers. Do what I can. Thank you Take very care. much. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.